Today in Photoshop, we're going to review how to apply a clipping mask, how to make the background transparent, and also how to quickly load stacks, and finally how to add our own copyright or metadata information. We're going to start by creating a new document. I'm going to wait, make my width 6 inches, height of 4, make sure I'm in landscape. For the color mode, I want to do 36-bit, and here's the key. For the background contents, I want to choose Transparent, and click Create. So now I can see my background is transparent. Now here are two ways to do this. We need to create a layer for our text, and we also need to add our photographs. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first example, we are going to load pictures into a stack. File, scripts, load files. I can choose to find a file or a folder. Um, in this case, I want to work with some pictures from the beach. Um, so I'm going to be having four pictures, but oftentimes I will go ahead and choose a fifth picture just in case one of my other pictures doesn't work out just right. So I've highlighted the five images I want, and I can click OK. So here the files are. Depending on your project, you may want to um, create a smart object. I could also sort them by name and click OK. So this is going to go ahead and put all five of those pictures over here in my layers. So that's going to save a lot of time instead of me having to manually go and do File and Open to do these. Next, I want to add a new layer. And I'm going to drag this all the way down to the bottom. And that's going to be my text layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn the visibility of these off because I don't need these right now. I can click on my text. And I'm going to do S-U-R-F. And then I'm also going to work with the font and get it centered. Now, if you notice, when I did that, it actually created an entirely new document. Okay, so now I can see that it's a lot larger. Um, so over here, I may need to go ahead and go to my image and adjust my image size um, to make it my 4 by 6. I have my text here, but with the clipping mask, I may want to add a little bit more space between every letter. So with that, I can adjust the tracking. Um, which is the side-to-side -side spacing of each letter. If I wanted to adjust just two, that would be kerning. Okay, so now I have my text here, and I'm ready to start with my clipping mask. So right now I can move my text around. One of my shortcuts is I can hold the Alt key and drag down. So now it says Surf Surf. If I wanted to, I could go back and have it say Surf City. So I can go ahead and turn my Sunwave layer on. Um, actually, I'm going to go back and delete the city part just to make it a little bit easier to explain. So I can turn on my first picture, and I can kind of figure out where I want it to go. I can use Control-T. Um, for Edit Transform. Now, as you can see right now, I really can't resize it, and that's because the aspect ratio is locked. To change that, right up here, I can click this once, okay, um, and now I can rearrange it a little bit better. The other trick is to adjust the opacity, maybe to about 60%, um, so then that way you can figure out kind of exactly where you want your picture, maybe where I want um, the sunrise to end up. Okay. Um, so once I have it in the right place, 
All I have to do is right click, create clipping mask, and it's done. A little bit later at the end, I can go back and adjust the opacity for that. Now another trick is once you get it to the right place, we may want to lock it. So that way as we're working around, we don't accidentally start to move it. So to do that, I'm going to be on my sun wave layer. And up here where it says lock, I'm going to choose the one with the four arrows. And that's going to lock just the position. So I can turn on my second one. Control T to resize it as needed. And again, I can adjust my opacity to make it a little bit easier to kind of fit in there. Okay, and then when I have it, all I need to do is right click, create clipping mask. And again, I can go and lock that so that way I don't accidentally move it. I have my other two pictures placed. Right click, create clipping mask. Right click, create clipping mask. Um, at this point, I can go ahead and turn my opacity back to 100% on all of these. And then there's a couple other things that we want to do to make this look even better. To make this stand out, I want to add a stroke. So I'm going to make sure I'm on my surf layer. I'm going to go to layer, layer style, and I'm going to choose stroke. Now this is real important here. So maybe I want a size um, of five. Look right here under position. I can either have it go on the inside, which as you can see, that takes away a little bit from the image or I can have the stroke go on the outside, which is what I want in this case, so that way it doesn't take away from the picture. I could also adjust the opacity a little bit of the stroke, depending on how I wanted that. And I always like to have preview checked as well. I could also do a drop shadow Um, to give it a little bit more depth as well. In this case, I want to add some information. So I can go to File, File Info. I can give it a title. Maybe later I can make this um, into an actual postcard. Um, I can give it an author. Um, a description and so on and then click OK. Um, I could also just copyright status, um, give it some keywords in there as well. Surf City, Topsail Island in the beautiful state of North Carolina. Finally down here at the bottom um, I've added some more text that I want to have showing. I can use my scrubby slider over here to adjust that a little bit. Okay, so now I need to add another picture behind there. So instead of doing the file scripts load into stacks, I can just go to another picture I want to use. Now for this one, I'm going to want the sailboats in there. So before I copy and paste it over, I can go ahead and do um, a quick cropping. Okay, and try to go ahead and get it um, a little bit closer to the size that I'm going to want. And remember our shortcuts now. Control A for all. Control C to copy. I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer. Control V to paste. Control T to edit, transform, and to resize. Then when I have this where I want it, right click and create clipping mask and again with that one it may be a little bit hard to see so again I can go back over to my layer control T and try to work that and get it to a little bit better spot for there okay so finally when I finish 
I always like to resave it with the word surf clipping mask done. Okay. So remember, so if I want to make this transparent to use somewhere else, at the end when I export it, I want to make sure that I export it as a PNG. So when I export it with the PNG, I can either have it with transparency or without. Okay, so I'm going to do this both ways, and then at the end, we'll see the difference. The other thing I wanted to do on these as well, this one is going to be my non-transparent, is under metadata, I want to choose copyright and contact information. So that way it will be included in my file. So here are how the two pictures look if I want to paste them in a PowerPoint. So here is our SURF 2021 saved um, as a PNG with a transparent background. And here's the same file saved as a PNG um, but without the transparent background. So again, you can adjust the transparency when you get ready to export your file. So when you go to export, export as. Now, if you are saving it as a JPEG, you're not going to get the option for transparency. So remember, if you want that as an option, you need to make sure you choose PNG first. And again, you can decide if you want to include the copyright information. Um, and then also if you need to embed the color later on. So I hope you can see how easy and quick it is to add a clipping mask, which again, instead of having the letter there, we are using the clipping mask and showing a shape, which is behind the clipping mask. So if I turn those off, and again, I can manually turn off each of the photo layers to see how it works.